Good morning, everyone. Morning. This morning, the hymn is in the pamphlet. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us give praise to, to God, God for the, for the conversion, conversion of the, of the teacher, teacher of the, of the nations. nations. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Let us Hail give praise, praise to God, God for the conversion of the teacher of the nations. A mighty God is the Lord, <coughs> a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Let us give, give praise, praise to God for the conversion of the teacher of the nations. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let, Let us, us give praise to God for the conversion, for the conversion of the, of the teacher, teacher of the nations. nations. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Let us give praise to, to God, God for the conversion, conversion of the teacher, teacher of the nations. For forty years I was weary to these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, Never shall I enter my rest. Let us give, give praise, praise to God, God for the conversion of the teacher, teacher of the nations. nations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let, Let us give praise to God for the conversion of the teacher of the nations. The hymn is in the pamphlet. <coughs> Apostle of the Gentiles call, call the, the greatest, greatest witness of them all. all. You turn to Christ, the risen Lord, when out of light you heard him call. You journey far and wide to tell that Christ was risen from the dead. That all who put their faith in him would live forever as he died. To Father, Son, and Spirit be blessed, the light of man's unnatured voice. With all the church throughout the world, and give glory and unceasing praise. I know who it is that I have put my trust in, and I am certain that he, the just judge, We'll be, be able, able to, to take, take care of all, all I have had entrusted to me until that day. day. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I know, I know who it is that I have put my trust in, in and I am certain that he, the, the judge, judge, will be will able, able to take care of all I have done, trust to me, me until, until that day. My grace is enough for you, Paul. Oh, my, my power, power is, is made, made perfect, perfect in weakness. O oh, all you works of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, angels of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, the heavens of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, clouds of the sky, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, all armies of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. 
to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, sun and moon, O bless the Lord. And you, the stars of heaven, O bless the Lord. And you, showers and rain, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, all your breezes and winds, O bless the Lord. And you, fire and heat, O bless the Lord. And you, cold and heat, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, showers and dew, O bless the Lord. And you, frost and cold, O bless the Lord. And you, frost and snow, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, night time and day, O bless the Lord. And you, darkness and light, O bless the Lord. And you, lightning and clouds, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, mountains and hills, O bless the Lord. And you, all plants of the earth, O bless the Lord. And you, fountains and springs, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, rivers and seas, O bless the Lord. And you, creatures of the sea, O bless the Lord. And you, every bird in the sky, O bless the Lord. And you, wild birds, wild beasts and tame, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, children of men, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O Israel, bless the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you, priests of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you, servants of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, spirits and souls of the just, O bless the Lord. And you, holy and humble of heart, O bless the Lord. And Ananias, Azarias, Misael, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. To, be, to you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. My grace, my grace is enough for you, Paul. My, my power is made perfect, perfect in weakness. weakness. grace of God in me has not been fruitless, fruitless. Rather, rather this grace, grace remains with me always. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment to all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honour is for all his faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The grace of God in me has not been fruitless. Rather, his grace remains with me always. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. I have appeared to you to appoint you as my servant. You are to tell others what you have seen of me today and what I will show in the future. I will save you from the peoples of Israel and from the Gentiles to whom I will send you. You are open their eyes and turn them into the, from darkness to the light and from the power of Satan to God so that through their faith in me they will have their sins forgiven and receive their place among God's chosen people. (coughs) 
You are the chosen instrument of God, St. Paul, the Apostle of the Nations. You are the chosen instrument of God, St. Paul, the Apostle of the Nations. You are the preacher of the truth in all the world. You are the chosen instrument of God, St. Paul, the Apostle of the Nations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are the chosen instrument of God, St. Paul, the Apostle of the Nations. Let us celebrate the conversion of St. Paul, Paul, the Apostle. Apostle. He who was the persecutor of the Church has become God's chosen instrument. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us the mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our Father is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He sought Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, who might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you should be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let, Let us celebrate, celebrate the conversion of St. Paul the Apostle. He, he who was a persecutor of the Church has, has become, become God's chosen instrument. Since we have received from the Apostles our heavenly inheritance, let us thank our Father for all his blessings. Lord, the Apostles sing your praises. Praise to you, Lord God, for the gifts of Christ's body and blood handed on by the Apostles to give, give us strength and life. Lord, the Apostles sing your praises. For the table of your word serves us by the Apostles to bring us light and joy. Lord, the Apostles sing your praises. For your holy church built on the Apostles to make us all one body. Lord, the Apostles sing your praises. For the washing of the baptism and penance entrusted to the Apostles to cleanse our hearts from sin. Lord, the Apostles, sing your praises. <clears throat> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Today, Lord, we celebrate the conversion of St. Paul, your chosen vessel for carrying your name to the whole world. Help us to make our way towards you by following in his footsteps and by witnessing to your truth before the men and women of our day. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit upon God forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safe this day and evermore. Amen. And we now pray for vocations to the priest. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we thank, thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those priests who have brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call, 
unable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives in love through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Today being the feast of the conversion of St. Paul, we will recite the Gloria. The intention of the Mass is for Bridget Murphy and Mickey Donnelly. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Let us pray. O God who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today, and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul said to the people, I am a Jew and was born in Tarsus in Sicilia, and I was brought up here in this city. I studied with Gamal Gamaliel and was taught the exact, the, the exact observances of the Lord of our ancestors. In fact, I was as full of duty towards God as you are today. I even persecuted the way of, to, to his death and sent women as well as men to prison in chains. And the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify, since they even sent me with letters to their brothers in Damascus, where I was sent after it was the intention of bringing prisoners back from there to Jerusalem for punishment. I was on the journey and near Damascus when about midday, a bright light from heaven suddenly shone round me I fell to the ground, and I heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I answered, Who are you, Lord? And he said to me, I am Jesus the Nazarene, and you are persecuting me. The people with me saw the light, but did not hear the voice as he spoken to me. I said, What am I to do? 
Lord. The Lord answered, Stand up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told what you have been appointed to do. The light had been so dazzling that I was blinded, and my companions had to take me by the hand, and so I came to Damascus. Someone called Ananias, a devout follower of the Lord, and highly thought of by the Jews living there, came to see me, and he stood beside me and said, Brother Saul, receive your sight. Instantly my sight came back, and I was able to see him. Then he said, The God of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will, to see the just one, and to hear his own voice speaking. Because you are to be the witness before all mankind, testifying to what you have seen and heard. And now, why delay? It is time you were baptised, and I had my sins washed away while invoking his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Strong is his love for us, his faithful forever. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus showed himself to the eleven and said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover the gospel of the Lord. Paul's conversion is, a fami is so familiar that believer and non-believer alike might describe a change of direction as a Pauline conversion. When you think of St. Paul, what springs to mind? That he was a violent persecutor, or was blinded by the light and fell off his horse, or that he heard the words, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And after he got up, he was blind. All of the above are important aspects of Paul's conversion. However, there are two elements of the story which may not strike us as dramatic or even worthy of note, but are in fact the key to St. Paul's conversion and to his life, that he received baptism and that the Holy Spirit, through Ananias, praying with him. If Paul had not received the Holy Spirit and had not been baptized, he would not have been able to lay down his life for Christ the church and the gospel. Paul writes about his insight into the meaning of his baptism in Romans 6. We are buried therefore with him by baptism into death so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father we too might walk in newness of life. He understood that in baptism we are immersed into the saving death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Just as Jesus died on the cross at Calvary, so we too died on the cross at Calvary. Just as Jesus rose again from the dead on the third day, so we too rose again from the dead. 
Through baptism, we are united with Christ in his death and united with Christ in his resurrection. Paul knew without any shadow of a doubt that because he died with Christ, he also lived with Christ. Through his revela his, this revelation, he was able to conquer sin, live a life in the power of the Holy Spirit, and become the most powerful witness for Christ the world has ever known. Father, by the preaching and writings of your Apostle Paul, you have spread the light of the Gospel and converted millions of people in every nation. Grant that by his prayers, your church may be renewed and ready to spread the Gospel today. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <laughs> As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith with which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. <coughs> in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. <clears throat> Make holy therefore these gifts to pray by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this 
all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, stretch her out the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that is gentle under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 Body of Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed Apostle Paul burnt ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.